Welcome, welcome to this lovely Wednesday evening session. Sorry I started uh, 30 minutes late, I was watching um, someone on my server play uh, Deep Rock Galactic, so I was calling that, just watching it for a bit. Um, I'm actually watching them right now on my little window, so I thought I'd, uh, you know, watch them for a while, and then the time got lost. Hope everyone's having a lovely uh, Wednesday Wednesday evening or Wednesday afternoon, wherever you are. Um, I'm just going to make a little post here and there, just to let people know that I'm streaming, and then we'll get on with the painting of this cat. This bald cat with a crown on his head. Boop, 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 boop. Actually giving him more of an expression. Uh, so this is more of a fun piece than a uh, like a study. It's more of a study and having fun at the same time because I think it's it's good to it's good to have fun, right? Study studying should not be boring. That's that that's the key here. So uh, let me just uh, the camera's a bit high. Let's just tweak it down a bit. Yeah, that's about better. Oh, hang on, cam camera's a bit down there. There we go. I need to I need to set my camera on because I've I've moved it up a bit. I was messing around with it and it went funny. Oh, oh, blue spirit! Wow. Okay. Whoa, whoa. How's it going? <laughs> I was. I just started. And I was just setting my camera up. My camera, I think, got got moved when I was messing around with it this evening. Oh, thanks for the little cheeky raid there. Welcome, welcome, people. I just started. I was just. I was just gonna. I was just posting that I'm just about to start streaming. And uh, yeah, hi. You started as I was finishing. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh. <laughs> I, I saw your streaming. And I, I, I was lurking on there for a bit, but then I had to like jump on, the, on a work call, and then I realised like, oh, I'm late to start up the stream again. So, or, or the universe prepared you for both. Oh, okay, prepared me both. Oh, I first prepared us both. Okay. Oh, oh, but thank you. Much appreciated. Much appreciated on the on the little on the on the cheeky raid. And welcome, people. Welcome, you lovely people, to my to my little session here. Uh, I do want to. Yeah. Well, it, it's fine. No, no, no. Nothing's. It's. It's. I think it's wonderful to watch people do things naturally. You know. So that, that's why I do not want to say anything. If I said anything, if I if I said anything up here, I think I, I think that would have put more pressure on you or anything. So I. I. I it's better to just watch. It's better to watch and observe, and that's better. That's, that's how. That's how. That's how. That's how, how. How I prefer watching. I don't like myself known to be known. Sit. I'm, I'm like there in the shadows, looking looking at what people are doing, and that's it. So, <laughs> I was having some food. I was having some pasta as I was eating my pasta. I was watching you, you paint. So, so it's all good. It's all good. I was also watching Master Chef as well. I was watching Master Chef. The uh, the. The professionals as well, so I've kind of been addicted to watching that show. I don't know why, I just like the fact that people can make things and cook things. So multitasking, yes, yes, that's the that's the, pretty much it. Multitasking. It's ah oh, blue. It's 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 weirdly addictive. It's weirdly addictive. I started watching it for no reason. I was like, oh, this is such a they they, they 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 have this thing called the skills test. I don't know if you heard of it. Skills test. So basically, they they um, they, they they test chefs to, to randomly make something. So like it could be bangers and mash, it could be like scallops, or whatever. And like if you, if they don't know what it is, if the chef doesn't know what it is, they'll try and make it, and it's and you see their faces like, what what are they doing? They're doing it wrong, like right in front of them. But it's hilarious. But it's great to watch that kind of test, and they, and they've got like twenty minutes to make it in front of the chef in front of the um, head chefs. It's crazy, but I, I, I love watching that. So. It's really good. It, it, you might find it on YouTube. Uh, yeah, Master Chef: The Professionals uh, Skills Test. You, you see, you, you can see the expressions when they when, when when they see the chefs doing it completely wrong. Like, it's hilarious. Um, oh, let me just. Oh, I was post, I'm gonna post an FA. I'm streaming. I'll just do it now quickly before I forget. I'm getting get carried away because I got caught out by the the, the cheeky sweet little lady. Uh, let me just post this here. One second. Uh, no, we'll just pick up, let's pick the woman's face. That one looks pretty cool. I've always picked that lady face. There we go. Right. Uh, yes. Uh, streamings. There we go. General. So, 
most of my notifications are manually done, see, so I've not really automated anything yet. It's always been manual. Hotel, see, Hotel Hell, I watched that. I I didn't, I, I don't know if I like that or not. Like, I mean, it's just, it's just basically Gordon Ramsay, but in a hotel, right? Um, is he, I mean, I, I, I guess you, you'd, you'd have to watch the original Kitchen Nightmares and and, and, and the original Hell's Kitchen. That's where the good, the real deal is, right? Um, the, the US ones, they all, they all seem a bit dr dramatic, you know, like like Gordon Ramsay goes in there to help families out of relationship problems and things like that, and not the business. The business is what's in trouble, right? Hate to raid and dash, but I got to, got to work in the morning. All right, man. Blue, thanks for the raid as always, and have a good good rest. And uh, yeah, thanks. Thank thank you. It's a bit, it is a bit late. I keep starting these streams really late. <laughs> They help. Okay, he helps the business. Okay, that's fine. I I, I was bit, I was a bit concerned. Like, what does he actually do? You know, it, it it feels like everything's scripted. It feels scripted and fake. You know, like like the original the original show. It wasn't scripted. It felt felt genuine. Like, when things go wrong, things go really wrong. From a business point of view. But in in the US one, it's always a case of arguments, um, families break down. Like. You know, dramatic, dramatic scenes or like camera work to make things look even more dramatic, ba dramatically bad. Like, and the, what's the, what's the, um, is it, is it the per percussion? What's that instrument? What's the instrument that you slam together? <laughs> um, I, I think I've, uh, uh, there's sort of someone made like a YouTube animation of Cat Ramsey getting mad. Where it's called, where's the duck sauce? Uh, is that the one? Uh, that's not found it. Gordon Ramsay animated. Where's lamb sorcery? There you go. You're gonna love this, Senna. You can thank me after watching this. This this is what I like. I love this. This this guy's made a lot of animations. Um, highly recommend it. I think it's the raw one, I think. Yes, raw, here we go, yes, yes. So, so this, this video here is a, um, another one, part of that series. Um, raw. So you see you see this guy going with the instrument. Oh, HRDC, hello, hello. Welcome. Can you hear me? How are you? Type in people. There we go. See, totally is funny, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that instrument. They always use that in the American one. It's just it. It's like it's used everywhere. I think they use it in the Apprentice, the U.S. version of the Apprentice, the Donald Trump one. The same instrument. Oh yeah, yeah. If if if, if you yeah, it's it's pretty known animation, but yeah, it's. Crazy. Oh, drawing goblins. Right, let's start the recording on this this cat because I've been busy yammering. Ah, oh, there you go. Speaking of uh Thank you, Mr Mr. Ounce. Mr. Ounce, you have finished your DRG session and my tablet stopped working. What's going on here? Do I need to plug it in? Oh, let's plug it in again. One second. Um, <laughs> it's fine, you know. It's fine, you know. I, I, the, in, at conventions, you get various people that know various things. Not everything, you know. Don't don't expect everyone to know everything. I don't know everything, so you're fine. You're fine. Um, services. Let me just reset my tablet because everything was going well, and then my tablet just conked out. And now, stop the stream. Net cancel. Delete this recording. Yes, delete that recording. Whack on. 
Let's reset this. Restart. Dyslexia. I, th I think I suffer from dyslexia sometimes. Like, you know, when, you know when, when someone gives you a bunch of numbers and the numbers become mixed up, you know, that's... I, I, I guess I kind of... There's a form of dyslexia that happens. I just make sure this tablet is pick, uh, picking up the... No, it's not. Let me just double check brush size. No, it's not. See, the pressure sensitivity is not working. So all I need to do is restart this app. No. No. Just restart Photoshop again. Yeah, we, yeah, we need to read something or write, try and write down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes I, I don't know. I don't know if this, this is dyslex, dyslex, dyslexia. Dyslexia is when you read something and it doesn't, it doesn't, it, it, you don't, you don't understand what you're reading. You're just reading the words. As I have, as I have it happen to you when you read something, like, you know, like if you read a bunch of words and it doesn't compute in your mind. You have to read it a few times to make sense of it. And the only, only, uh, weird thing is, right, it only happens to let when, when, I, when I get letters from places and stuff. Even how you talk is an indication of dyslexia. Oh, really? Oh, well, there you go. So I, I'm, the way I talk, I've got some dyslexia in me as well. There you go. So it is dyslexia. Interesting. So you learn something, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Messing up many words. That's true. That is true. I do mess up words. I do mess up a fair lot of words when I say, only when I'm talking like this. Um, normally when I'm talking to other people, it kind of reduces down. It reduces, it reduces down to like near to nothing. But when I'm talking to other people, it's... But it, that, that comes from practice, right? The more you practice, that's why streaming it's beneficial in in terms of you know getting better at this sort of thing right because small talk yeah small talk is easier yes yes i think yes i i think i agree with you on that one it's talking short little bits short, short nuggets of conversation is better than doing something you know, really present something but you can fix that by breaking a presentation down into small segments, right? Just let up Camtasia again because I just closed it. There we go. That's interesting. I, I, because yeah, I always wondered, like, you know, I, I did, I do suffer from some form of dyslexic thing you know you know you can't because i make it because sometimes these things happen and i knew like when, when when reading letters or especially it's only letters from like if I, get, if I get a letter from the bank or something then it's like i have to read it a few times right to understand what it's saying but if it's like if it's some um, documents from like from a game you know like we're talking like video games and stuff where there's things to read in it then you know things like that are fine you know, it's when you get bank letters or letters from your energy company or something, something like that. And they will say to you, you know, it's, there's something in the letter which says something. And you're like, OK, what are you trying to say? Can't you just say it in plain words rather than, you know, give us the whole Magna Carta explanation with silly words? You know what I mean? Yeah. So but I, like, I like to think that. You know, having having dyslexic dyslexia, sorry. It can you can train and you can train to overcome it, right? That's the because unfortunately, I di I didn't have the luxury to go to um, speech therapy class. That's the thing that I think that might have helped, right? A lot of young people who are young, you know, when when you're like, you know seven or is it six or seven maybe you you get to go to like speech therapy class at school right they i think they help you how to fix pronunciation you know you know talk in a specific way you know so, so if you, you when you talk you project your voice and also the also um the speed of it as well the tempo of it 
because breathing is also an important part of talking, right? You take deep breaths, fill your lungs up, fill them up nice and full, and then just talk, talk. Yeah, so it feels good. But yeah, I can read when it's written and it's said, I don't think that's particularly correct. Can't, in life, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's relatable. That is relatable. Yeah, so I guess, I mean, it doesn't really change much, no. no. So I guess we're, we're, we are, being dyslexic, that means we're like, you know, like X-Men, no, they're mutants, right? We're different from other people, we're mutants. That makes that makes us mutants, right? With special powers. <laughs> we're like, we're like special mutants with the power of dyslexia. Whoa. It's amazing. Which is pretty cool. Well, I mean, I, I, I like to think, I'd like to think my, the way, you know, my, I, I'm, I, I've always tried to keep, I, 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 I'm not really, um, what's, what can I say? How should I, how should I, how can I put this? Um, you know, I'm, I'm not shy, I've never shied away from the fact that if I, I mean, if I say something wrong, I repeat it, I, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's better to repeat yourself and get it right. Yeah, like that's. But I guess when you, if you say something and you don't follow on with the correction part, then that's where, you know, things can go wrong, right? So I guess it's good to train oneself to learn to correct yourself. And it's fine. I, I think I think people out there will probably be more impressed by yourself, you know, correcting yourself if you make them, if you say something that's not right. I've done it a few times on stream. You know, when I say things when it's not come out right, and I've, and I've, and in my mind, I've said it, and I'm like, why did I say that? <laughs> why did I say that? But, um, yeah. It's not what you, I mean, yeah, I, I think the first rule is to accept. Acceptance and not deny it. I think a lot of people, maybe a lot of people, I could be wrong, I'm just speculating again. This is like, this was a speculation on my part that people are, are, you know, sometimes denying you got something wrong is, is more harder because then you're, it's tricky to overcome it, right? I think. Yeah, I think if you accept it and then try and find ways to suppress it, because you imagine, you, you, if you imagine people with uh, Tourette's, that's it or worse, right? Tourette's people with Tourette's probably have it worse than anything. That they, they, their tics tend to tend to uh, really kick off, right? I mean, it may, this may be a good example of a bad person, but if you ever heard of Elon. Elon Musk talk, they improved a lot over the, the years while they're extremely hard to listen back to. Okay, I'll, I'd have to, I, I've not actually seen Elon talk, I'll have to, I'll have to see how he, how he spoke back then. I take it, I take it Elon Musk has dyslexia when he talks, is that right? Or is that what you mean? Hmm. I have to, I'll, I shall have to see this, uh, this, uh, Oh, okay. I, d I didn't know. See, I didn't know this. So, okay, that is interesting. Yeah. See, like, I I didn't know I had dyslexia. Oh, well, now you mentioned, I didn't know like I had this kind of problem until like as time went on, I've started to realise that I'm, I'm making like um weird. You know, when I sometimes I say things that. I'm not exactly what it is. It's just word, badly word, badly pronounced. Not the right pronunciation. So you might say, like, if I'm sneaking around the house, I'd say taking a detour. But in my mind, I'm like think, thinking, like, why did I say detour? When well, you can just say you go around the house, you know, that kind of. I said it. I've, I, I, I'm, I'm referencing this from my Resident Evil gameplay I did when I first started Part One, Part One of Resident Evil Seven, and. Yeah, but like I did correct myself on that. This was nice, yeah. <laughs> so that works exactly. Like that could. So what I said, I said I should have kept with that rather than correcting it. But whatever. 
<laughs> so I, I've just learned that I'm just stuck with the fact that whatever comes out my mouth comes out my mouth. So I, I, I should call my, I should just call it talking bollocks. Talking bollocks. Or talking bull plop, bull plop. Well, it's it's um. Well, I, I mean, it, it, me saying it was taking a detour might not have been true. But again, like it's 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 up to how you interpret it. I think, and I, I think in my mind that probably wasn't the right word to say, and that just my brain decided to say to say it, just say that word right now. Say detour, go on, say it, say it, say it, say it. And I'm like, okay, I'll say it. Okay, I'll say it. Okay, brain. Um, <laughs> but um. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I've not really actually looked into dyslexia, and, and I don't think that obviously it's it's not. I take it there is no cure for it, right? I should probably I should probably even look it. I've never I've never actually bothered to look into the whole dyslexia thing. I mean, I may have to spend some time researching this now. Now that you mentioned this, like, well, no cure. You can just. You don't, yeah, yeah. So, so the best way I found, like I said, how I deal with it is deep breaths. Take a deep breath till your lungs fill up, and talk slowly. And talking slowly sometimes helps you think before you pronounce the words out. Like, so right, right now I'm talking, but I'm thinking about what I'm talking. But I'm talking slowly, and talking slowly helps, right? Because it gives you time to think about what you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah. So and 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 sometimes, like, it's good to take pauses. So sometimes I've in the past, I when I'm about to say something, I will pause for like five seconds to think about what I'm going to say next, and then like then talk about something else and so forth. So what's you know most this what yeah yeah so exactly that. There you go. So it's it, it, we we have to train ourselves and never and but yeah as accepting. I, I mean, what I have right now, I've accepted it. You know, I've accepted why I have deal with it. You know, you got to deal with it, and I, and I will deal with it, and we will succeed, right? We will we will get better ourselves in by you know overcoming this this uh, uncurable symptom dealing with it. So. And, but here's a here's a positive thing, right? Here's a positive thing. You can probably you probably feel pleased about this. I'm, I guarantee that the way we say and talk, we're most likely the way we talk. Probably we can probably talk a lot better than most people can. We can, we can <laughs> right? We, we can talk a lot. The way we talk and the way we communicate, we're probably a lot better. <laughs> Some people can't even get this far, right? So we are we are pretty much. We can go to detail exactly. We can we can we can talk just plop talk plop for hours. So there are other people out there which I've I've come across people which talk really really fast and they stutter profusely. They they stutter a lot, a lot of stuttering, and a lot of stammering. Stammering is another um, element that uh, people have, and you know it's. I, I feel I feel very lucky that I'm not I don't have that kind of um, you know symptom that's what I only call it a disease a symptom right as a symptom Yeah, so sorry, I was typing on Picasso. There, someone asked me a question. If this is, if this is a uh, a value study, it's uh, just a color, color observation and playing with expressions. There you go. Yeah. So, what was I saying? Yeah. So, stuttering people that stutter. Um, that's another area. I've seen in people and it's really like oof but <clears throat> they are dealing with it as well those people are dealing with it as well and so I guess we are not I guess we're in a, a better situation 
not 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 implying that if you stutter it's bad, but like, you know, we haven't got that bad. That's too bad. We can we can get better. We are gonna we are getting better. It's a mental thing, right? It's, it's always a mental thing. These uh these things. So. Uh, Second, we have friends group which is tiny, and we all have like autism, but we can actually communicate for a long time about one thing because massive focus on Las Vegas and autistic people tend to be able to just go on monologuing when they are because right out they are thinking, okay, yeah, yeah, and that's how you get paragraphs and essays and stuff, okay, I see. Yeah, I've, I've seen. I've, I've I've never actually looked into people with autism, so I, I know I know a lot of people in the fandom suffer from autism, right? And there's the thing is, there's various kinds of autism, right? There's various. There's probably loads, right? So I I don't really want to. I don't know much about it just to, to go into detail about it, but I, I do know a fair lot of people who suffer from autism, and I always in my mind I thought autism was something that. And have like violent mood swings, or maybe it's just it's just it, I, mean, I guess some 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 it could lead to that, but I wasn't sure. I didn't really look into it further, you see. And um, but yeah, I do know some people that have autism, and they, they seem to be fine, just to be normal, a bit a bit high and you know high with life, <laughs> higher than me because I'm 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 probably because I'm getting old now. I'm like, ugh, whatever. Mood swings extreme. Okay, gotcha. So, I see. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Eyes there. Get your eyes in. I, like I connect mood swings to other disorders, right? Okay. I've I hope I, I don't have other, I'm I'm hope I hope I don't have any dis other disorders other other than my crazy speeching speech stuff. But I do sometimes suffer from um, I sometimes lose interest in things very quickly. If I'm if like I'll give you an example. If someone's talking to me about if someone's talking to me about something and, and it's not interesting to me, my mind just dozes off. Like it's like yeah, cool, whatever. But I, I do try my best I do try my best to really listen in and um, you know like have a conversation about it sometimes I just lose interest completely that could be ADHD oh my goodness yeah yeah like so for example for, like, what, another thing that kind of not doesn't bug me but I notice it straight away if things are not in line like for example like like if um, Let's say you have some text and it's not aligned to the center, it's not well designed to the center. It catches my eye and I'm like, okay, that's not right. Or just a modern climate that programmed your mind and it's just in boredom. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, if, if we talk about art, then great. I can, we can talk about art for ages, right? But it's, or if you're talking about horror films, we can talk about horror films for ages. But there are times when, when there's conversation about something else, which is like, doesn't, has, I've got no interest in. That's what the media focuses on. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Then just about to get sure and sure. Oh. Basically, the right word to put me down as I am defective. I am a defective piece of meat <laughs> gone past the sell by date tiktok see i was gonna, i was gonna i was gonna actually gonna make a tiktok account you're a defector i'm a defector i, I, I thought I was, I was defected defected not defector defected you didn't send me back with the receipt you know <laughs> <laughs> send me back with a receipt 
you get replacement replacement products with an apology. Um, the only reason I would use TikTok is just obviously to promote my my work. So again, just I I post speed painting videos and that's it really, and that's that's the general premise. Nothing else really. Yeah, I, I mean I, I wouldn't spend much time with TikTok because I know TikTok is. Has a lot of young people that use it, and it. I've seen some videos on it, just just seem boring. Um, wasn't my wasn't my kind of fad, but if it's to, to attract more people, you know, more audience people, that's great. In fact, just because I'm a business owner who actually did research into human rights and knows too much about China and about TikTok, and their actual passive program or oh, propaganda arm. Okay, um, well. And, and yeah, and I know TikTok is own is is partially owned by a Chinese brand. Is that right? There. So I guess your your information and stuff, the moment you sign on sign on to their platform, it, you know, I guess it belongs to them, doesn't it? In terms of privacy wise. So, but if yeah, still widely used, still widely used. Uh, social media platform right now anyway especially by a lot of people but uh yeah i don't know i don't know still haven't decided i've still haven't decided yet but part of me is thinking i should probably at least attempt to make something on there if you make a few videos short nugget of videos or something right let me hide the foreground here there we go cat the cat's paw yeah Chinese law states that any company operating in China must give full extent of access to their data. And oh wow, okay, that's oh wow, okay, wow, okay, that's that doesn't sound good. <laughs> that means you're wavering your rights to provide them data. Eyes again. So I guess I may I may just not bother with may not bother with TikTok. But I'm not sure. I mean, I could just make a, a dud account and just post stuff on there and have it so it, people come to my account. People come to my other social media channels, right? Um. And obviously not to not to use my actual details. That's the thing. So this is the thing about accounts and stuff. You know, when you, when you make accounts and stuff with with social media platforms and stuff, you've got to be careful how much information you give, right? Same with Facebook. Like I, mean, I I have a Facebook account, but I don't give them information that you know. In fact, I don't really use that much on. I don't really have anything on there other than posts and stuff. But like it's really vague stuff. You know, it's like. Stuff I don't really bother about. It only goes against China, even with free speech. Yes, I, I, you know what? I've read, I watched a news article on it, like a news report on 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 how you know the stuff in China happens in China, like in terms of social media, like if you talk about. The leader, the, the, the Chinese leader, in any form of any any way, like even if even if it's positive words, you could be visited by like the police. You know the yeah. You, know, you, you get they'll, they'll visit your place and ask you what what was you doing with that post. You know what was your reason behind it and stuff. It's crazy. They, they even they can even ban your account, your social media account, because of it.
yeah, even if you live outside China, when you put foot in Chinese soil, they have the right to work you. Well, the plan, the plan is simple: don't go to China. And then once you start being, uh, yeah, once you start doing going down that path, right? Gonna be, yeah. Yeah, free speech in China is to their rules, isn't it? That's what it is. It? It's, 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 it, you have to comply to their rules for free, for free speech. That's the right way to say it, isn't it? So it's not really free speech. It's free speech within within limits. That, that obviously involves, like, you know, I'm not talking about the leader. Uh, well, unless the CP, yeah. Unless the CP, oh yeah, Chinese Communist Party. Yeah. I'll visit, if I visit, or if I'll visit Taiwan, which Taiwan, okay, you know, the best, which is the best country that has a true Chinese tradition without banning the religion. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's a lot of. Yeah. In China's modern days, yeah, 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 I guess, well, yeah, well, I guess that means going to China or anything like that is off the menu, going to China, best stay at home, it's best to stay at home, don't worry about going out, <laughs> it's anywhere, anywhere, anywhere fun, I guess that means like, I mean, I would love to, I would love to see the Great Wall of China, right, things like that, the monuments, Chinese monuments and stuff, and, and the, the, uh, the Forbidden City, right, like these are these are amazing places in China that you know you at least once one day you want to check out before you know you kick the bucket right. But it's all hidden away behind the, you know behind the the government yeah that, that runs it that owns it. Getting a bit sorry, the conversation is getting a bit carried away. There, so I do apologise if uh, talking about uh, we, went, we went from um, dyslexia to autism to uh, uh, what do you call it TikTok, TikTok to Chinese communism. <laughs> Beauty of conversation. You see how quick it can just change. But I did, I did like that talk. I did, like, I did, like, I did like the talk about the um, this dyslexic stuff. You know, that was that's interesting. I didn't, you know, like I didn't really, I knew I had it, but I just don't, I didn't. I, I spent time looking at it at the um, on Google and stuff. You know, like to diagnose myself. It's like, do I really have this? And I, you know, it's hard to die. It's tricky to diagnose yourself, right? Don't you? It's it's, too, it's difficult to go. You know, look in the mirror and say, do I have this? But you, Showing signs and symptoms of something similar to it. Yeah. 
I guess I should go to my GP and say, look, do I have this? And they'll probably say, yeah. Okay. 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 You know, non-biased party to test you. So, so it can't be done by a GP. It can't be done by a family doctor. Assume you can go to your family doctor and ask them, right? Say, look, can you? Can, is there a way to like get me tested? See if I got this thing. Nah, they could be biased. Okay. Well, well, this this doctor isn't isn't. Uh, I've not seen this doctor since I joined up. Basically, I've not even seen my local GP. You know, that's how crazy. I'm, I've only been once for a checkup, and that's it. That's that was like almost friggin' fourteen years ago. So I should probably go for a checkup at least once. I should probably make an annual checkup. I might have to. Phone, I, might, I might just phone up at maybe tomorrow and say, "Look, can I can I go in for an appointment?" Like this, like you usually go to this place where they focus on this. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I've, I think I've seen places like that. They do like clinics, clinics that test. Of things like that, so hmm, hmm. I shall have to look into this further, though. I mean, it'd be good to know, you know, for my own sake, because if it is, it probably is the case still. But uh, nice to, you know, do something about it, right? As humans, we we learn to to adapt, right? We've survived this long, you know, through harsh conditions and stuff. I'm sure we can can overcome. You know, dyslexia. You go to the place they where you focus. Oh, sorry, I thought there was a new text there. It's hard to keep track of text when it's not moving. It's not moving. New text. There you go. New text. Thank you. Yeah, like I was, my, 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 I've got like two, three text chats. To keep an eye on. So it's like. That looks like Teller, isn't it? Pen and Teller? Teller? I don't know who that is. It's got a broken face. It's a guy from Nerdgasm. I don't know what Nerdgasm is, sadly. I see. I see how how detached I am from all these all these internet internet people. I think the only people I know, obviously, like people like like uh, James Rolfe from Cinemassacre, Red Letter Media. You know, those people from Red Letter Media. They're they're pretty funny, right? Uh, that's it, really, and obviously, yeah, you obviously Angry Joe. Do you like Angry Joe? YouTube used to be passive, and I'm on their Patreon and follow them. Oh wow, look at that! They must be wow. I hope one day I'll become a, a, a Twitch personality. I've got that personality right with my crazy. Check out my dyslexic skills, yo. Yeah? That's pronunciation. <laughs> try, and, yeah, try and find my own way around this uh, the internet world. The thing is, I've noticed that I don't really stream as much. That's probably one of the problems. I've noticed that to get really good at because when I first started streaming, like this is like three or four years ago, um, I stream Monday to Friday, like full on, like like 
five hour streams and I, and, I, and I managed to get like 75 followers just like that in a week that's how quick it, you know that's how I and then like on Saturday and Sunday I was so tired it was so exhausting because streaming is not something you just sit down and do it you know it's it takes it takes anything it, it really burns out of you you know it's so you know hats off to those that that those streamers that can do it for long periods but um this this wasn't this wasn't art streaming by the way this was um this was just me playing games right I was playing games and stuff so it wasn't really much art going on so I think I think the game inside you get you do get a lot more coverage right you get a lot more coverage than art people which I noticed and yeah people love games and that's why obviously twitch is what's what it's made for right so it's a bit of a bit of a uh niche you know arting so that's why when i started doing the arting stuff you know as you see my numbers are not doesn't don't, don't, don't really go that high because it's not something that people want to come and see unless unless you're a personality unless you've got some really good personality a humble personality um then they'll come and see you but uh the other thing is obviously my sessions are really short i know it's like like for example blue when blue does his streams he streams for a long while doesn't he he streams like he actually he streams at a good time as well you know he doesn't stream in the evening like i do which is like most people are going to bed you know it's bedtime right for, for most people That's why I got coffee. This, this is where coffee comes into play, you know. Mm. Ah, really hits the spot. It was tasty. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Close his mouth in a bit. There we go. Coffee, yeah, coffee is fantastic. I was actually having a chat with um, with someone on. I think there were, was it on? Yeah, it was on here. Yeah, it was. I think it was on Twitch. Yeah, uh, it might have been Ink, some Ink, Ink involved. I think that's who the person was. I think they're on my server now. I think. Um, yeah, we we're on a conversation about coffee. You know, the, the kind of strengths of coffee you can get. And so, like in the UK, we got strength coffee strength one to five. I think it's common throughout the world, right? Coffee strength, and the strength that strength just indicates the, how how much the coffee is roasted, right? So the more it's roasted, the higher the number. The more it's roasted but the less caffeine it will produce but you get a deeper taste this is where the strength comes in so if you want more caffeine then you go for a light coffee right for this, if, i think this is how i read it right so for example like strength one it, the beans are lightly roasted but so all the caffeine re, re, you know, is retained within the beans so when you make the coffee you're gonna get more caffeine out of it but it won't be more you know the flavor intense flavor won't be there till you know the full level of how bad it is for you then same practices the tobacco industry it won't ruin it for you well coffee is better than tobacco right so I mean, tobacco is like a slow killer right all that all that um beautiful smoke and stuff right watch that here Fix this actually because I like mine looks a bit too too much. I'm going to try and narrow this down a bit. Coffee's a slow killer too, really? Oh, okay. Oh dear, that's not good. Well, no one, no, nothing lasts forever, right? No one lives. No one lives forever. We all gotta, we all gotta kick the bucket one day, right? Well, I guess, right, so, but but that, that, I guess if it's deadly, I mean, do you mean like if you drink it excessively? So if, like right now I'm, I'm drunk, this is my, this is my second coffee for the, for, for this, for, for today. So one in the morning, one in the evening, that's it. So 
is that so that does that mean that's dangerous or do you mean like the, the, the do you mean the, the caffeine those cans you get those crazy like you know caffeinated drinks which like offer stupid amounts of like caffeine and sugar and stuff like that you, you referring to those won't kill you instantly no no of course not you make it sound but you make it sound as like a coffee in general is a, is a you know deadly thing like you know it's not gonna give you like it's not gonna give you a like you know like a disease or something you know near the end of your life is it like a cancer or something right right coffee itself is fine yeah there you go yeah look, look coffee here yeah. well, I mean if you drink if you drink excessive coffee then you, you're gonna yes yeah, the caffeine here yeah. if you drink like if you drink things which have large amounts of caffeine like really large amounts of caffeine then you're in trouble right This ruins your brain cells. Well, well, that's probably why my speech is buggered, right? Yeah. <laughs> the coffee. It's the coffee. That's the coffee they're talking. Damn. Damn the coffee. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> oh. This is why having caffeine, you've got to have it responsibly, right? Um, I mean, I only have caffeine when I'm about to stream because it because it gives you that little pick you up, you know, a little, little bit of boost, you know, because otherwise you'd, you'd feel mega sleepy. I mean, at life drawing, I used to drink hot water, just hot water to, to suppress tiredness, and it kind of works. Hot water kind of works, but it's still kind of. Yeah, it wasn't really wasn't wasn't coffee. I mean, I, I guess I could drink decaf, I guess, to get that, that tasty flavour, but it's not the same, right? It's not the same. Just drinking cola. Oh, cola's bad, isn't it? Cola, Coca Cola. I've seen those videos and stuff of what they have, what Coca Cola has, right? That's all those chemicals and stuff going for your gut. Not really. I was actually going to do a video on um, like how painting and drawing helped with how to deal with anxiety with painting and drawing and stuff like that. That's that's one of the things. I, another thing I want to like look into um, as as a, as a set, as a small YouTube video sort of thing. That'd be pretty cool because I'm trying to find I'm trying to think of ways to make videos which are more interesting rather than just speed paint videos i think speed paint speed paint videos are fine but everyone does them right everyone does these kind of videos and I'm trying to find a, a hook a nice hook see if that draws in people to my lovely videos and me and me Is, um, I've never, I've never had like, I'll be honest, I've never like felt like I know people, a lot of people in the fandom and places get depressed and stuff and feel down, disheartened, and I found that you know painting, arting has helped me to overcome that. You know, it's kept me focused. And I think. That might be a very nice thing to give back, right? You know, yeah. solutions to possible problems in life. People have same with uh, speech stuff, right? Speech stuff is also good. People who have speech problems or suffer the same thing as I do. It's, uh... I 
caffeine fills the inner sleep receptors blocking off your neurotrophic signals so your body creates more receptors when you stop caffeine your brain will have one neural natural energy hormone for every 100 receptors so you become a sleepy zombie for three months and you go back to normal you know I remember i've been fed caffeine as a kid <laughs> well it's a good thing but that's that's why um like after like like uh, i think in a couple of hours 12 it's 11 p.m here so i think by one o'clock i start or i'll start feeling tired again like the, when the coffee starts wearing off and that's when I should start sleeping, right? But it doesn't happen. I end up staying up talking. Because last night, last night I was on my server talking to some people about stuff. We had, we had a good conversation about stuff, like just what's been going on in the world and stuff and the fandom and stuff. It was really, it was really good talk. It was a really good talk. But the problem was, the problem was the conversation went on until 2.15 in the morning. Again, I, I said to myself, I'm going to go to bed at one o'clock. I was going to go to bed at one o'clock and it didn't happen. It did not happen. Ended up just staying up late. <sighs> Why? Why do I keep falling down that same hurdle? I keep, you know. Why do I keep allowing myself to stay up late? Uh, you know, because the, the conversations, the conversations will are really good as well it's a good conversation I'm, I'm, I, I feel I have a feeling we're gonna get the same conversation tonight as well uh, you know it's, it's great it's great to unwind and talk about these things you know important aspects but uh, yeah I need, I need to try and uh, get some proper sleep proper night's sleep you know by Not being too too drawn in on these conversations, but uh, it, it was good conversation. I enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I plan to do more of that soon. Right. What I'm, what I may do? The ears are my ears are short, so I can probably extend it. But then again, I've added the expressions here to make it look a bit more like so. Excuse me. Hmm. I'm trying to give this like cat a bit more personality with a little bump here, a little bump. So, with coffee, water is good as well. There's um, regeneration, rejuvenation, rejuvenation, that's the right word, rejuvenation, you know. Hmm. I've been streaming for how long have I been streaming for? How long have I been streaming for? One hour. Oh, exactly one hour. So I'm doing pretty good time here. Yeah? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good time. I was actually gonna work on another like I've got another commission coming up. I was gonna do some I did do a little nice, so I might have to look into that too. 
it is addictive. Coffee is caffeine. Well, caffeine in general is addictive, isn't it? Yeah, I, 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 I agree with you on that. I mean, I, I, I used to drink coffee. I, I just love the flavour. It's just the taste of it. It's just great, isn't it? I, I remember when I was when I was younger, and I used to hate coffee. I was like, Whoa, you know, coffee is horrible. But like, I think when I when I when I was about sixteen. I think 16 or 17, that's when I started drinking coffee. And man, that was it. That was a turning point. 16 was when it really, like, it helped. Right? It helped. And that was it. That was it. Coffee was, like, my favourite thing. It's like, yep. Gotta have my gotta have a coffee. Gotta have some cereal or whatever, you know. But gotta have my coffee. And then off to college, I'll go. And... Yeah. I think that tail might need, might need to be repositioned because it's not just different to what I've done here. So, oh, I'll do this. Actually, just copy that. Move that. Is the tail separate? Eyes. Clarify like where the tail's gone. Cat render. Yeah, where's the tail? Right, go to do the older layer eight. That's the tail there. Ah, okay. Right, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Ah, okay. Merge that together. Merge that foolish thing. Why is it? There's something up there. Right. Do that. Just do that. Hmm. Really? Still something above here. There we go. <laughs> right. So that port would be a bit more. Let's, let's uh, warp it. Oh. Bring this up here. There we go. There, there we go, that's better. Sweet. I'm actually, I'm actually just gonna, I might just merge this down once I'm satisfied with the way this looks. There we go. Yeah, coffee. I do like, um, and coffee, I, I, after becoming addicted to coffee there, I started, you know, trying out different variations of coffee, and then that's when I discovered, like, you know, ground coffee and stuff like that. Because before I used to drink instant coffee, right? instant coffee was my my like go-to i didn't really i didn't really bother like knowing what these other coffees were like you know when you're young you just you just, you just drink it because it's like okay it's there you know it wasn't really something i would um explore as much you know it's just it's like tea you know you, you, you just drink regular tea you, you didn't realize that there's like there'll be like different coffees out there with different fl different strengths and different flavors and um so a friend of mine i met through the fandom, he's a great friend of mine. From this, he's from Colorado, and he introduced me to more coffee shops. And man, it was good. It was good. I tell you what else is addictive, Senna. Actually, I forgot to, I forgot to ask Senna. Where are you from again? You're from um, somewhere in Europe, right? Is that right? Somewhere in Europe. You have to remind me again. I think you mentioned it to me once. And I, 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 I can't remember. But um, Belgium, yeah. Okay. Have you have you heard of a company called Lorenz? Lorenz. Lor Lorenz, I think that's what it's called. Lorenz, 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 Lorenz. I think they they do snacks. They do German snacks. It's, it's a German brand. Um, 
and they, and they do cook, they, they do they do they do something called pom sticks, which is addictive as ever, and it's probably not healthy because it's it's potato, it's potato sticks flavored paprika flavored, but man, it is addictive. It's more, I'd, I'd probably call it more addictive than coffee. It's terribly addictive than coffee. Yeah, it's very tasty too. I've, I've, I've uh, I used to eat packets and packets of them, but now I'd, I'd stop because if I eat any more, I probably have like a heart attack and be a blimp, a blimpy, a blimpo. Let me find, let me find a link of it. I, I, I thought I'd ask because yeah, it's one of those sort of things you may find it in Europe because you get them in the UK, right? Because it's, it's, it's a German brand, you can probably you can probably export them all over the place. Was it Lorenz? Uh, Pom sticks, Pom sticks. Let me. Oh, well, I think I spelled it wrong. Lorenz, that's it. Lorenz Pom sticks. So if, if I just do, oh no, images. Uh, is there one with all three packets or just any? Okay, there's not. Okay, I'll, I'll just. Well, actually, there is. I've got four. It's a bit. Well, the quality's not bad. Yeah, if I just do that, copy image address, post it, I'll post it in Twitch chat. There we go. Very tasty, but very deadly. The paprika one is very Moorish. You can just eat the hell out of it. They come in, they come in like, packets, small packets, but you can pretty much finish half of it in seconds. Like, it's that nice. It's very tasty. And paprika is like uh, it's not it's not it, I wouldn't call it spicy. It's not even spicy. It's just has a, has a really smoky, salty taste. You know, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where, where that came from. I think uh, there's this discussion of talking about stiff stuff that's addictive, right? That's addictive. And if you ever see it, do not buy it. <laughs> well, you should buy it, but it's a, you should buy it to give it a try. But it's a, you know. Uh, I mean, I can finish a bag of nuts in a minute. Yeah, but nuts are addictive. Yeah. What? What? what have you tried um, cashew nuts? See, uh, uh, black pepper, black pepper, and sea salt, sea salted black, uh, sea salted cashew nuts. They're really good as well. Beautifully delicious. See, that's addictive as well, right? Uh, but also deadly because it, it's got high amounts of fat. But still, it's good. It's good. It's tasty. Tasty. Oh, all these nice things, all nice things, are all un unhealthy. It's not fair. Do you like fresh nuts? Uh, I, I much prefer if they're roasted. To be honest, like I've I've, I've tried um. Plain peanuts, and that just didn't work with me. You have to roast them. You have to give them a little roast, right, to get the, get those get those nice oil flavors out. You know, to get that really nice roasted taste, right? That's the uh, yeah. I do, I do like that. That's the. You know, I've I've tried natural peanuts before. Natural nuts is just oh, it's like what is this? What is this? Who's what, who's what's, who messed up my peanuts? Who's mashed them up? You know. I mean, I, I've, I've, I've even tried like natural cashew nuts, right? Get some natural natural cashew nuts and put them in the microwave for ten seconds or thirty seconds, and they and, and it releases that it releases their oils, you know, their oils and stuff. But it roasts as well. So if you if you if you, you know, microwave it for like ten seconds, thirty seconds, until it becomes nice and brown, it's delicious. It's delicious. Mm. Cashew nuts. They're so expensive as well. They're really expensive stuff because I think. You know, they, they they come from a cashew plant, right? It takes a while to extract and stuff. Brown nuts are nice too. Okay, brown nuts. Hmm. Not tried brown nuts. Actually, I do, I, I do like hazelnuts. Hazelnuts. You know, uh, Christmas time and Christmas, which is coming close now. We um, in in the supermarket they sell ba nut, yeah, bags of assorted nuts. So you can get walnuts, hazelnuts. Uh, the Brazil nuts and stuff, you get all these variations inside it, isn't it? So that's pretty nice. This chat can never be taken out of context. Nope. 
It's a roller coaster of fun talk. <laughs> Hey, it's better than it's better than talking about politics, right? Politics. This is one. That's one of the things I don't really. I never really enjoy talking about because it's there's there's never. So this is one of the things we had a com, had a conversation about on my voice server last night. Is that I was saying I was I was implying when it comes to talking about politics, there's never a winning. You can't win an argument or you can't win a debate from it because it's it's, it's a waste of time. So yeah. Anyway, nuts. Warm Brazil nuts is good. Okay, I'll have to try some warm Brazil nuts. used to this uh, music. So again, doing the front area here again, just to, I mean, this doesn't really matter, but still, I just want to get that, get this kind of looking good. I'm not sure what this pattern is. Looks like, it's like a muzzle thing. I'm not sure what it is. It's like a muzzle thing here. It could be a cap. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Some weird pattern. It's just a weird pattern on some garment, some cloth, blanket or something. It looks like a blanket. I found a new potato I got a picture as well today. A, a really positive potato picture. I posted it in potato. Let me find it. This is my potato picture for today. Really marvellous. Look at that. Positive. Positivity there. Very good. Very good. It's very good. Find a place to post up. Uh, who else? Oh yeah, I'm from why myself to post it in their channel once I've done streaming. I'll, I'll let I'll post the potato picture for that. So, yeah, exactly. Plus a quality, exactly, exactly. And I pasted. Oh no, I pasted this in the wrong area as well. Oh, let me just cut, cut this out. Ugh. There you go. Ugh. that because I've bugged it up that's fine yeah always always uh discover things like that don't put your potatoes in the wrong area no 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 don't just leave it leave it on a table and look at it look at it look at it look at that potato it's good it's gonna make a bg area here i'm just gonna Oh, under the cat, let me just go under the cat area. There, I think, yeah. Ah, uh, Ink Involved. Hello, how's it going? I'm doing well, thank you. I saw you were on Picato briefly and disappeared. 
He did like a Houdini act. He like a, he was there one minute, you're there, next minute, he disappeared. Oh, well, today, thank you. Yeah, I'm just working on this cat. Working on this cat. Catastic. Doing great. Nice to, glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Hmm. Very good. Very good. So yeah, we we're just we we're just talking about. Um, I have to go. I have to go for now because it's late for, for college tomorrow. I have college. Oh, you have college. Okay, no, no. You, have, you get some rest. Sleep is important as well. Sleep is very important. This is like a another thing that I forgot to stress out. You know, like you know, I do. I do sleep. I do sleep. I do stupid sleeping schedules. You know, so. Oh, yeah. 38 degrees, oh my god, that is amazing. I love I would love to have that weather. Why can't he I, he's from Brazil if I'm correct? Brazil, yeah, there we go, Brazil. That is like I want that weather. Wait, instead instead hang on, let me just check. What's my weather here? What's my weather here? We'll find out now. Got my Got my phone. It's seven degrees Celsius here. Seven. And oh no, 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 correction, it's six. Six degrees Celsius, and tonight it's gonna drop. Is it gonna drop? It's gonna drop to three degrees Celsius tomorrow by 3 p 3 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, uh, sorry, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. tomorrow, it's gonna be three degrees. Um, oh, Thursday night, so Thursday night's gonna be zero, zero degrees Celsius. That's gonna be, we're, we're looking for ice, we're probably gonna get some ice, no doubt. We'll get some ice. Oh man, that's not looking good. It's not looking good. Things are getting cold. I don't like cold. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm doing multitasking here, multitasking with various things, so... Uh... Trying to keep up with uh, multiple chats as well, because I think there's people, there's a couple of, one, there's one or two people in Picarto, just talking to them and talking to you guys, and also another, there's another chat place as well, so just balancing between the two places, so... Yeah, uh, oh, 20 minutes is good. Making good headway here. Progress, progress, progress. I don't want to stop working on this rug thing because I think I think this is pretty good as it is. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's not the not the element of where I want to. It's not the objective of this particular piece. So it's going to be about that. Uh, um, the, the cat and and its hat and everything. The background, whatever. In the background is going to be blurred out anyway, so it doesn't really add anything to it. So let's let's go back to the cat again. Let's get the spring his count his crown as well. The crown is there. Look at that cheeky little crown. Um, I might just leave the crown as it is because it looks funny. Right, doesn't need that much work. I can probably just blend rend, uh, blend it, render it out. Sorry. Oh, there we go. I'll just make a new layer. Let's get it. Let's get it all nicely rendered. At just a little, little bit of, right, a little bit of detail here, there, just to give it a nice little thing, you know. Mm. That's so. Oh, uh, we're, we're lucky that it's good temperature. And last time we got 43. Oh man, that see, for anything above 30, then things start going a bit funny, right? This is where you want to have an air conditioned unit, right? 
air conditioner unit is mandatory right in Brazil, yeah? I imagine, because there's no way you can survive without an air conditioner. Because 40 is... Needs to go to the hospital two times. Oh boy, what? Oh boy, that's... That's nuts. Whoa. That's crazy. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's not good. There we go. I have a silly toony helm hat as well. Crown, crowny thing. Right. So one of the things I was going to try and do when I flatten this out, I want to make this ears a bit long, a bit bigger, because the ears look a bit smaller. I'll probably fix that near the end. But I think we're looking good with this. Uh, if we we're going to start moving towards. The detail side of things. Well, actually, the eyes. That's what I was going to work on, actually. The eyes. If I make a new layer. Some red in there. Mm -hmm. The fight looks like Witcher 3. Oh. Oh, New World. Oh, yes. I, I know some people that play New New World on, on this server. Uh, they, they they seem to seem to enjoy it, but I didn't. As much as I like games like that, it, you know, if I play those games, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get any art done, right? <laughs> it's one of the, it's one of the games that it's like, oh, it's, it looks fantastic, but do I have time to play it? Will I, will I, would I have time to play it? I probably won't. That's why I've been playing like Deep Rock Galactic, which is like I'm planning to pl I'm planning to play more of that tomorrow instead of um, Resident Evil Seven. I'll, as much as I want to play Resident Evil Seven tomorrow, um, I want to try and do some more Deep Rock Galactic because it's, it's a bit more hands-on. You know, it's a hands-on game, right? You can shoot things and have a bit of fun. And yeah, it's great. It's a great little game, and uh, it's nice to unwind a bit, right? After arting, after so much arting it's always good to have you know a bit of a chill out moment right you know playing some video games and i think that's uh shows the you know, the, the non-artistic side of me playing video games because i do like video games i do like playing classic video games you see classic video games are good do like them Get that brow in there, oh, make it darker a bit it's on the edge, just a little bit on the edge. There we go, like that. That's the evil eight with the fine vampire ladies. Oh, one day I'm going to draw the fan art of them. Oh, yes, I, I did think about doing the fan art for those, but I, I've got so much other things I want to get done first before it. The thing with the thing is, like. Every time I get an idea to draw something, an idea for something, for something, I will draw it out and then I won't finish it. And that's the problem. So I'm, I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm going back and completing things I've started. So, yeah. But I, I, I will get to doing, to, to, to you know, drawing those, uh, doing the vampire ladies. Because that, yeah, the, the, that, that main lady, she's she's pretty big, isn't she? It's got, it's got big, big bust, bust line as well. Very smoky. She's pretty smoking. So, to be honest, I've not played the game yet. Um, um, I want to pl I want to try and get it when it's on sale, or if someone or unless someone someone from my my Discord server gives me it. Some, bless people, you know, people tend to give me stuff, and I feel privileged for that. But I, you know, for that, I'll, 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 I'll happily stream it. So watch me play it and smash it out. But uh, yeah, it's it's a game I'll probably will will play at some point once I complete. Uh, seven. Seven so far has been really good. The, the, the hillbilly house. Um, so far I'm enjoying it, you know. Um, a lot of insects and stuff. Cockroach. No, is it insects? I think they're mosquitoes. Yeah, mosquitoes. Oof. Yeah, I was fighting mosquitoes in my last session. That was crazy. That was a, that was pretty fun. Um, and then, that, and then the, the, that woman turns into like a long, long arm lady. That's where we, that's where we ended the session, so... We'll have to find out not this not not this week but next week. See uh yeah, see how far I get on with that. But yeah, Deep Rock Galactic tomorrow will be fun because um it's, it's, it's a four player game. Um 
I will be playing it with some people I know on on, on, on my Discord, so it'd be nice to in, include them on on the run, so they can they can have a bit of fun with that, have a bit of, have a bit of a laugh, and it's gonna be fun. and and we we, we we will be playing on a on a harder difficulty, so expect a lot of chaos, chaotic moments, and probably wipes as well, team wipes, because we all get you know. Um, Deep Rock Galactic is. Think of Deep Rock Galactic if you've never heard of it. Think of it like it's it's Left 4 Dead but with with mining. Left 4 Dead but with mining, and you got that game, and it's um, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty intense, but it's fantastic. I enjoy it. Um, been playing it quite a bit, um, so yeah. If you guys want to join me on that, uh, my session tomorrow on that, you, by all means, you can come and watch me. It's uh, it's a great little. Little game. I mean, plan B is if if that plan to get people to play it tomorrow won't happen, then I will just I'll, I'll be going back to Resident Evil, of course. So, so there is that. So, but yeah. Reason why reason why I thought I mix it up a bit because get I don't want to bore people out by playing the same game you know every 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 thursday because i know i don't play that many my 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 game streaming is not as in you know common as the art streaming right so the art streaming takes precedence over these things doesn't it so uh yeah it needs to be more darker i think around here i think a bit more red <laughs> I've still got the um my um I did save a uh clip of me freaking out on Resident Evil 7 actually. Let me show let me share it with you guys before let me share it with you because I did save it. Um let me find it. Uh, I'm in Games Talk actually. There we go, Games Talk. Oh, I shared this on my on my server. Check it out. If you enjoy my, uh, missed out on it last week. That that's as close as, the, as, as that's as close as my jump scare gets. And I was, as you can see, I don't really seem that startled. I just. Mm. Ooh. Should share this in. Should share this in uh, some of the other rooms I'm in. I should show this. And oh. There's some channels that I'm in. <laughs> I thought I thought I'd shared them. I thought I'd shared them out. He's, he's scared too. Yeah. I was. I, I, the weird thing is, right? Ink. I was expecting that. I was expecting something like that to happen, and and I fell for it as well. I was like, wait, I knew something's gonna pop out, and it did. It's like, whoa, 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 no. <laughs> I knew it. Just the head put yeah, it's just that pops out. Wow. But yeah, good it's a good game. So far so far I have been enjoying it and um I'll need to yeah I think I should probably start thinking about maybe extending my um, how I do game sessions and like so maybe two ga two days of game sessions, or maybe I've seen some people do this. Right, I've, I've seen Blue who Blue Blue uh, Spirit who raided me recently just 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 a, year, a couple uh, an hour or two ago, an hour ago actually. Um, he when he finishes up his art stuff, he switches to games an evening of you know a session of gaming. I'm not sure how long he streams for for games, but 
I've seen him do it a few times. I think that might be a good practice to maybe do like an hour of arting or maybe a couple of hours of arting and then last 30 minutes of gaming or something that balances the two out. But then, yeah, I'm just I'm still thinking about how, if, I, if that would work, if that's a good idea or not. So, <clears throat> yeah. Game stream is good for it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's like a look. It's like, normally, what I do after my session, I sometimes do. I do. I do play some games. I do. You know, jump on. Jump on the older. Uh, you know. Do pop on there. So. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Just trying to get that brow a bit more. Looking a bit too, a bit more cartoonic, cartoony. There we go. So, Might change his expression again. I don't know. I'm still on a on a fence with this, but I'm I'm playing with. I'm playing around with it, so that's great. I wanna By the way, I saw draw other characters. Oh, very good. Very good. Looks bad. <laughs> well, you gotta start somewhere, right? You gotta start somewhere. You can't you can't expect to like, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, right? Rome wasn't built in one day. It was all it was everything has to be um you know, everything has to be, yeah, yeah, keep practicing, yeah, yeah, like, I've, I've been drawing humans often, like, normally, like, in, in publication stuff, the drawing stuff is kept really limited, and, and like, creativity is kept limited, but, um, yeah, like, I'm still drawing humans now and then, whenever, whenever possible, so it's great, it's got to keep practicing. Thirty four minutes, that's good. It's still good. I keep thinking about time the time's going really fast. It's actually slowing down a bit, so that's good. Slow down the time. Oh yeah, um, I know it's Black Friday is set, like sales are starting started to happen now, so I assume it's probably good deals out on about for paint programs and whatnot. I assume I'm just speculating. There might be cool programs and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I think the eyes look pretty good enough for me to move on to detailing and I think when then after that we're done we're done with this pussy cat picture cat picture so oh be right back no worries no worries take as long as you want itchy foot right let's move on to detailing let me just hide some of the line work as well line work's actually getting in the way here so that we can start start to remove that so there's line work oh that's the shadow that's not it where's line work where's the line work gone line work must be here oh no where's the line work hmm the line work in the crown yeah no yeah there it is that can go uh where's the line work for the cat that's what i want to know there it is there it is that's that one yeah. Yeah, I can go. Looks okay. Looks fine. I think we've gone over most things. Good. So, 
can minimize a few things in cat final bg let's minimize everything again the foreground should be on its own group so we call it foreground foreground there we go so at least that way it's kept away from everything else and the paw there that's going to be rendered out as well which we haven't done so which let's just give it a little 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 tickle little tickle oh just one layer there yeah the music stopped i think youtube's probably asking are you still there let me just check i think it has oh there we go oh, it's not. there we go i was putting a loop you know what i should try and find some no copyright music as well other jazz what's this one let me just try this one is the same one there you go that can do something different this sounds good um instrumental there's a lot of instrumental tracks but i just want to try and find which are ones ones which are royalty free the creative commons one i should probably check that one lot later this one's okay seems it seems to seems to allow no copyrights and it's different and it's different uh, i think uh flying lung if you're listening in mr lung are you listening in or your your twitch account we are using different coffee shop music. Different coffee shop music. Yeah, oh, you are tuned in. If you are, I think you are tuned in. Oh, we got new music playing. Yeah. New user, first time viewer, look at that first time viewer chat. Look, we're playing we're playing different coffee shop music. You heard this one? Don't think you've heard this one. I don't know, I've not heard this one before, so Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Your funky dance that I did there. Oh, impressive. I'm very impressed with that dance I did. Very pleased with that. Maybe. Entertaining. Maybe a little dance, this my little dance, this game off. Are you doing something you doing something productive yeah mr lung you're doing something productive assume you are you said you would said you would just making sure you are you're not doing any sneaky drg in yep good very good very good very good yes yes Very good. See, when you, when you do something productive, it's rewarding because you get something, you get, you know, you get something in the end of it, right? You're getting like a little, get something at the end of it, like a, you know, finished product or whatever it is, or. Get on here. Uh... There's actually a good track I found, which um, someone's playing all the Studio Ghibli Studio Ghibli uh, tracks, but in piano format. But I don't think I, I think they're copyright protected as well, which is a shame, 
It sounds so good. It's like it's like piano version, like jazz jazz piano of all the Studio could be filmed throughout the yeah, films. It sounds so good. But yeah, I certainly can't play that one. So I'll, I'll happily play that in the loop. That stuff was like amazing. I was looking for the list here. Piano lists. Lo-fi chill beats, no copyright. There's low there's lo-fi, but it's only 30 minutes work long, you know, it's pointless. But this is this is good, right? This is like more much better. It's good. It's free. Not costing a penny. A bit darker. Excuse me. Mm. Excuse me. Mm. I know this one. <laughs> There's me thinking they won't get away. We'll get away with uh, different songs. I guess that was the only different new new song that was on this this playlist. What is? Let me just see. Yeah, I guess I need to find some other tracks. I'll I'll start looking into this maybe tomorrow. See if I find some new new uh, music to to try and. Because I used to play um, classical music as well, and classical music is also public domain, right? Let's see that word classical public domain public domain music. Yes, there's a lot, there's a lot of um like Beethoven stuff. Find it. There's, a, there's like a playlist you could pump out, but again, I wasn't sure if they were allowed or not. Public domain classical music. Whether or not this, oh, it's like, well, only one minute long. That's that's not good. That Be Beethoven's Ludwig. Um, ah, okay. So, so basically, someone, someone, someone made a comment saying that these recordings that you uploaded in public domain, or is it just a sheet of music that, that is public domain? So that's interesting. Whether it it should be public domain though. The very old tracks. I'll have to look into that. I'll have to look into that because uh, I used to play. I used to play um, classical music, but then some of the tracks are not accepted by uh, you know <clears throat> by Twitch and uh, well YouTube anyway. YouTube is probably the culprit for that one.
messing around with muscles there. Looking at the back there as well. The mine looks a bit bright on the cheeks there, but that's okay because I want to want to try and um, make it different to what's there. I'm trying to be a bit different to the reference as well, so not just outright copy it this time. Have a bit of fun with it, right? Right. Okay, so let's look at the detail side. But before I do that, I want to try and separate the crown. The crown should be separate anyway, because it's in the way there. I want to. I said before they want to make. I want to make the ears bigger. Let's make the ears bigger and push this, position them back a bit. So to do that, rather than just um, you know getting the same layer and moving it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna duplicate the whole thing because we're happy. I think we're satisfied with it looks. I'm gonna flatten it down. So merge it. There we go. And now we can uh, extend these ears out a bit. Yeah, let's do a copy like that and just blow them up a bit. Maybe move them up a bit. There you go. Oh, yeah. Move them up a bit and then start painting down and fixing, fixing these things on top of it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool way to uh, achieve this as well. Let's see. Hmm. Same with this area as well. It's gonna copy that out. Whoop. And oop. Move that up. There we go. Not to worry about the uh, side. That's why I'm just trimming away. And then we just build this in, put it back in. And for well, this lower part, we can probably clear it off. There we go. So we've still got that uh, <clears throat> element here. And close that off. I'm actually going to merge these two ears down a bit. So there we go. Nice. So we can now paint over it and make further adjustments here and there. You see, just doing that, cleaning that up. Back, this this cat's back's further up, so we can probably just knock this up a bit more. So just get a little clean up there. Cool. Yeah, I want to make the ears a bit bigger. I think that's more much 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 better. Um, I mean, this we could probably could potentially just push this out further, but I think. Fine as it it is, I don't wanna make go crazy on that. Okay, right, so that's done. Let's let's get the details in. So details got details. And I call this cat final two, because it's like cat final two, cat's final two. Because we've flattened it out, committed to it, move on. So let's get the details in. Let's get those little markings and stuff in as well. So this is where uh, I say it's not eighty percent. That's good. So yeah, this is like kind of making these like little creases and stuff, muscle creases in the cat. So I don't, want to, don't want to be too intense on this. I just want to make it really subtle as well because, you know, as much as I like, I don't want to, I don't want to make him look like a crinkly cat, too much of a crinkled cat. So, oh wow, this is a different song. I've not heard this song before. Okay, cool.
This sounds like CFAX music, which is like Teletext music they used to get back in the day. Oh, this is good. This is very good. Man. Damn. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Totally CFAX music, like Teletext music I used to listen to back on, on back when I used to leave the TV running in the middle of the night and it would show like this, like digital pages broadcasted from the TV, like news and stuff, just random stuff. So when, when a station closes, they, they have this playing in the, in like all night. It's just information. You can find it on YouTube actually, Teletext. Uh, Songs recorded like things like this. It's great. If you're interested in finding out, that is, if you. Yeah, this this is totally like similar to that. It's great. Beautiful. Beautiful. I've heard this song before, I think on my other I've had it I must play random other random jazz music. This this was one of the other ones I come across. It's nice. It's nice too. Do -do 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 -do. Post on there, I'll share this. warm glow and the light
There you go. Right. I think. I don't think much detail is needed on this other than <clears throat> little fragments here and there, but I think I think I'm pretty much done with them. So I'll start tinkering about I'm messing about with it now, I may end up screwing up the picture. So I'm just going to just do little bits of detail when I think is necessary and leave the rest and let the picture do the talking for me. And I think right now it's doing it fine, right? I need to mess around with it. Doo -doo. There we go. Okay. Let's blur this out as well so we can copy this. Uh, blurred out there but that's fine there we go and then the background which we just do like that flatten it down do the same apply the same amount of blur maybe there we go maybe a bit more What's, where's it gone where's the uh, blur? yeah probably get away with that then we're gonna try and um, blur the cat as well. The back, the back's a bit pushed back there, so we only have like the head and the. Uh, I think pretty much the head's gonna be the, the point of interest there, and maybe the paw here may stay intact. So I'm gonna blend this, gonna knock this down. There we go. So rather than um, Rather than doing it with the blur tool, I think I might just uh, I might sorry with that rather than doing like a filter, we'll use the uh, blur tool sorry to uh, get this kind of look in. Oh, actually, oh, actually, let me do that for a second. Before I do this, I should probably make a backup of this particular file. So if I just do a copy of that, there we go. So. Nice. Not oh, away there, so that's good. Just gonna not move this, move this back down a bit, just a little bit. There we go. little shakes here just to push it back it seems to work really well when you just got a lot more details on there as well Actually, that, that, that line will be 
these detailed lines will not be needed for that, so that's fine. I'll probably get rid of that. And this, I can probably apply that to the cat at the bottom. There we go. There we go. Push that down. Done. Right. Walk around, oh, it's good. Walk around out of the way. I fixed this by just rotating it, just tilting it just a bit up. There we go. There we go. Sweet. Boom. So, I can just probably. Apply it right amounts of and blur that. I'm gonna blur this out in many way, but I'm just gonna keep it abstract, abstract poor. Also, because this smudge tool helps in terms of uh, controlling, I can control the back, you know, the, the, the shape. So I, can, I can really shake it up a bit and move it around, like a, kind of like sculpting. So that's going to be pretty handy here. So I've just done that here, and I'm just going to shake a bit more. Uh, nice. Probably bumped that up to 75, I think, 75. Yeah, that's a bit more, that's a bit more control then. And we're for 2,005 minutes. So we're getting close to completing this picture. It's nice. And uh, I was going to work on this um, extra piece, that, this commission piece that I'm meant to like, start at some point. Um, I've not actually agreed to it yet. I just need to do, need to do some further test doodles. I might do it on a, I might on a Discord after. I've got some time to squeeze in. Oh, let's see what's happening here. Working? Let me just see something. Let me just see something. One minute. One minute. That is working. Okay. Chat. Chat. Just testing something out on D Live because I'm not used D Live in a long time. I'm just trying to get grips with that. To the back, it's good. No time stamp, that. that'd be nice. That's good. Moderator, use chat room settings. Doesn't work, but it does work. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Just testing out something on here, and yeah, it doesn't show. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, I was trying to test something on there if it can hide certain things. It's not, it's not showing me the user list either, which is a bit weird. Yeah, D Live's uh, not using a long while, you see. So, yeah, I might try. 
didn't know about it. I'm cleaning it up here just to do little things and just trying to add lines and shape here and there. Now the crown. Crown maybe the only thing that's left to do here, maybe, and uh let's have a look. I mean I think the crown can stay as is because it looks a bit toony, right? It looks a bit simple, and I think that that's the point principle of the crown, right? Not to take it too seriously. But I will paint it just a, a little bit of touches here and there I think just to give it a little bit of a zing right I think it needs a, needs a bit of a background as well like a little underlaying no I think under here I think more or less like a yeah like that you know Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I'll hide that. A bit of depth there just to like give it a little bump. Oof. Okay, let's just do some finishing touches here and now. I think this cat is done. This cat is officially done. I've got about a minute. Got about got still got time. Still got time. I've got about twenty minutes, twenty or so minutes to go. So there is making good time, making good progress. Just gonna add a bit more. It's a refinements. There's a cat foot there. I think there's a, there is a foot. I'm not sure if there is a foot or not. So I wanted to. So I'm going to have to just go with it, I think. Me paint on the detail on the wrong layer as well. This is the wrong layer as well. I'm painting on, so it's a bit of a risky move here. I should probably paint. Should we draw this on the right layer? There we go. Should we, should we underneath this cat? There we go. I should probably remove what's there. There we go. Oh, it's that song again. Favorite song. 
Yeah, no, I'll just paint it there. Ooh, uh, almost there, almost there. Just uh, doing the final touches here and there, and then I think we can safe to say done with this cat, the Sphinx cat. bit more white here just the brows to give it that sense of interest like so There's some areas of pockets here. So <laughs> yeah, hello. What, what do you have? What did you have? What do you eat? I need to know now. I'm nosy. Something tasty. Uh, something tasty. Very something tasty. Oh no, I see I see Dallin is back to playing some DRG. Deep rock classic. Oh and is he is he I don't see I don't think he's streaming. Are you streaming it? Oh he is. He is. Such a sneaky peek. Just close a few windows here because I can get some my bearings. Oh yeah. I'll keep move, keep keep having a lot of windows open. I keep forgetting to like there we go. Close them. I got like loads of things all over the place. There we go. Cool. Um, I think this picture's done. I think we're done with this picture because I don't work any more on it. I'll go, I'll go crazy, right? There's, there's a there's, you have to like for me I guess it's it's knowing when to stop you know when when do you when do you actually stop that's that's the important aspect of these things it's gonna hide uh, that there there we go it's gonna I'm just gonna push this on the top here because that's just 
yeah, from here as well. Cool, I think. Um, you know what? The foreground. I'm just gonna add a bit of. I'm just gonna add a bit of um, edge. A bit of edge work here because it kind of looks a bit. It's hard to tell where the it's, uh, it's ending. You see, like this. Uh, right. Yeah. There you go. A bit of red, and there we go. Hard to tell to tell where this uh, this bit sheets of this, this cloth or whatever it is this uh, blanket starts and finishes right that's that's why it's uh, it's tricky to know so I'm gonna I guess this would probably make it a bit more prominent. We're gonna have that pink paw, but we don't need that. Just don't need that pink paw. There. That area here, I'll just make it a bit more. Get that value here and start making it a bit darker, I think. A bit more visible. Ah, oh, that's why it's a bit of blur there, that's why. But blurry. There we go. Look at that blur. Cool. It's kind of look like the kind of expression kind of looks like the cat I did last time for uh, a pal. Who I did a badge for. Black cat. Looks kind of similar. But, uh, but with the crown, I think it looks much more convincing. <laughs> Right, safe to say, um, this cat is completed. I think, we're, I think we can happily say. Uh, oh, well, thank you, thank you. You paint the cat. Oh, it's going to jump in your room. Yeah, it's going to jump in your room. The bald cat is going to be all over the place. The baldy cat. Baldy cat. See, that's what, this is the thing. It's knowing when to stop. Like I just don't stop. I don't, don't know when to stop. So I'm working on it right now again. Like, stop. But so there's a I'm trying to make it as close as possible with the, you know. <laughs> I guess we can end our session a bit early because uh, that's only fair, you know. Because uh, well, it's two hours twenty-one, 20, two hours twenty-two. So this would, be, this would be a good place to stop. And this, I think, this is this piece is done, right? Let's call it done. Because we've been spending too long on it. Um, yeah, good. I'm, I'm gonna call it time here. It's been great. It's been wonderful hanging out with you, y'all people. Um, I'm gonna jump on Discord for a bit. Um, like I said, I'm going to work on that other the other doodle idea um, and see what I can come up with. Because obviously, I should have done I should have worked on that particular thing because that was a commission piece, like a possible commission piece, and I should have done that first so you can see my thought process. But um, I'm just going to going to do some dry concepts of that before I 
really start working on that so that'd be fun but yeah thanks for hanging out with me i'll be back tomorrow with um deep rock galactic i think i think it's i think it's gonna be deep rock galactic uh, or, or if not that it'll be resident evil 7 as usual but i think deep rock galactic would be nice just to break things up a bit you know in terms of streaming but uh yeah it's been wonderful as always thanks for hanging out with me guys and as always keep watching the skies keep watching the skies and i'll see you people tomorrow for more uh yeah more game for some more more of my sessions and in this case gaming gaming stuff so until next time until next time catch you later bye <laughs>